Before we head into today's show, I want to make sure that you know right now over at Ecolife, you can take an additional 20% off all single labs. That means all the labs that you love and you know at already reduced prices, whether it be the minerals and metals test or whether it's the stress immune metabolism test, the candida metabolic and vitamins test, the vitamin D test, the inflammation test, and so many more food sensitivity tests and much, much more. All of these can be purchased at an additional 20% off. And the best part is these are at-home lab tests. The data does not get shared with your doctor, insurance companies, nobody at all. The privacy is kept with you, the lab company, and Equalife. That's it. And what we do is not only do we provide you with the actual data, the biomarker of where you're at, but we provide you with a plan to get back on track if your numbers happen to be off. Plus, if you're working with an IHP or an Equalife coach, you can also get complimentary advice based on that lab if you still have questions. So you get the data that's yours, you get the summary of your lab results, you get the actual recommendations plus the support if needed. It literally doesn't get anything better than that. Better than that. And I'll tell you what, if you are still struggling to get well or to gain weight or lose weight, or to be able to get your body in position to live longer, stronger, at-home lab testing is the only way to be able to find out your underlying root causes for any health issues, plus whether you're deficient or toxic in any specific nutrients out there. So for all the details, head on over to stephencabral.com slash shop to take 20% off this week while supplies last. Now enjoy the show. Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board certified doctor of naturopathy, Dr. Stephen Cabral, shares with you exactly how you can reverse aging, take back your health, and live a life full of energy and passion with new 20 minute episodes every single day to keep you healthy and engaged. Now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hey everybody, we're back with a brand new Cabral host call. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's episode 2795. If you want to follow along with today's questions from the community, see what they're asking, you can head on over to stephencabral.com slash 2795. And if you haven't already grabbed a copy of my book, The Rain Barrel Effect, for you or a loved one, do feel free to grab one. They are free over at stephencabral.com. You just pay the shipping. I pay to print the book. It's about seven dollars and fifty cents to print it and it's about seven dollars or so to ship it you pay for the shipping i pay for the print in the book i'm looking to get that book in as many people's hands as possible um and even if there is any profit at all, which there's not, uh, it's only if you buy it from Amazon, I actually donate 100% of all profit to charity from that book. So let's get that information out to people. It shares with you exactly how we become unwell and unhealthy. And then the second half of the book is how to reverse that and actually get your health back. All right, let's dive into today's show, All Things Health, Wellness, Anti-Aging. I'm just going to open up the document right now from my team. They do such an amazing job putting together all of these questions and all also all the behind the scenes work. People don't know that it literally takes uh, a small army to be able to get out all the social media posts, the YouTube videos, and uh, put all the questions together, get all the direct messages together, the comments, et cetera. So really appreciate my team and all they do to, uh, to be able to answer all the different questions. All right, so let's get started. First question is from Kelsey. Kelsey says, hi, Dr. Rawl. I started tracking my blood sugar because I wanted to see if coffee was knocking me out of a fasted state. Turns out my fasting glucose levels are elevated consistently 100 to 110 upon waking and after a prolonged fast. I won't go into everything I do health-wise but I'm very active and have no energy issues and eat well. I run a little anxious, high cortisol, etc. I have normal insulin and hemoglobin A1C. Would the stress mood and metabolism test be your go-to here? All right. Yeah. Great question, Kelsey. Appreciate you writing in. And 100%. That's uh, If you only run one lab, it would be the stress mood and metabolism. And if you run two, I would run the minerals and metals test. All right. So those are without a doubt the two labs I would run. And I would run both of them if you're able to. So we, we want to do is find out why you run higher blood sugar um, and, and even coming out of a fasted state. So it's it's my theory. Again, I'm not providing any medical diagnosis, medical cures, medical treatment plans, or medical advice of any kind. What I want to share with you, though, is that we often see people that run higher anxiety, higher stress. Well, their body is simply always in an elevated state of blood sugar. I've got a lot of webinars on this. I have a lot of podcasts on this. I have a lot of shows on intermittent fasting on this. So if you go to stephencabral.com, 
intermittentfasting.com slash IF. That's intermittent fasting. You'll find all of my shows on intermittent fasting and you'll find the shows of why people have elevated blood sugar and they shouldn't be doing intermittent fasting for longer periods of time because those people, it creates, some people, it creates higher levels of cortisol. Cortisol being a glucocorticoid actually breaks down liver glycogen and it starts to raise your blood sugar without you even eating carbohydrates. So that's very detrimental and it places a lot of strain on the nervous system. So I'd love you to go deeper and we can certainly help you with the at-home lab testing, but also there's a lot of free podcasts out there as well. All right, so check that out. All right, Kelsey, maybe Kelsey again, says from Kelsey. Hi again, Dr. Brawl. I know you have a million podcasts on blood sugar, but I didn't find any on my particular question. What are your thoughts on longer fasts for someone who consistently has slightly elevated blood sugar levels, 100 to 105, even after 24 to 36 hour fasts, my blood sugar will remain around 100. Curious on whether or not fasting would be helpful in this situation. Lastly, is it possible for someone's normal blood sugar to just be higher than the standard? Okay, great questions. So instead of just looking at my shows on blood sugar, look at my shows on intermittent fasting, okay? So I think that that'll be helpful. The second thing is I definitely, since you're the same Kelsey, run those two labs. If you don't run anything else, run those two. All right. The third is that it is not normal though, again, I'm not providing medical advice, but it's not normal to have a waking blood sugar level above a 95, Okay, it's really not. Because in the future, I don't know how old you are, it can lead to then prediabetes or it can lead to elevated levels of inflammation. So we really want your levels between a 75 and 90 upon waking. That, that's the that's the that's really the gold standard that we're looking for. Anything else, we know that there's gonna be a larger amount of uh, inflammation from the elevated blood sugar. Now, seeing that your blood sugar is not really coming down after 24 to 36 hours, I would start to look at cell membrane dynamics as well as the body's ability to produce insulin properly. So how we can look at this is just simply looking at insulin levels on something like a stress mood metabolism or again, running this with your PCP or endocrinologist. We would also want to look at a test that looks at your omega-6 to omega-3 levels. If you have elevated levels of omega-6s, this could be affecting your cell membranes. Uh, and I would love to know that as well. That's called the inflammation test. And you could run that too. So essentially we're looking at not enough insulin being produced, or we're looking at the cell membranes, not allowing the glucose into the cells, even if there is enough insulin. And the third reason that you might just be higher stress than you know, and your body's always breaking down more glucose to keep up with stress and cortisol. So how I see it without providing you a medical diagnosis, there are at least three main things that we want to look at. And the other is just simply nutrient deficiencies. Maybe you're low on chromium and zinc and copper and magnesium and vitamin D3 and B vitamins. If you're low on any of those, you're going to have elevated blood sugar. So I know that I'm, I've been kind of saying more and more labs, but if possible, you run the big five labs, you'll find all of this out. So that's why the big five labs are invaluable. I mean, they really are. I know there's a cost to them. Equal Life gets you them basically at cost. Like these are the most inexpensive way to get a home lab test, and they come with a coaching call. So you can either do that with Equal Life, or you can do it with an integrative health practitioner level two, and that's totally fine as well. It doesn't have to be with us. I just want you to know that I promote a lot of things health and wellness, and that's because I know it's going to help you get well. But it never has to be through Equal Life or anything that I talk about. It really doesn't. But just know the information is out there, and I would love for you to run that big five. All right. So those are all at stephencabral.com/shop. Hit, click on the labs tab. You'll see what they are. You run them through us if you want. If not, find a good integrative health practitioner uh, and run it with them. And we have no business relationship whatsoever with those IHPs. They're just great people. They've been well-trained and they're able to uh, certify to, to help you with all those things. All right, let's get to the next question. Uh, Nana or Nana writes in saying, hi, Dr. Ball, thanks to your content and your team support. I've been able to resolve a lot of my pre-existing conditions and I'm currently now doing the CBO finisher after completed the CBO protocol to heal my gut. It's a great thing. I'm happy to hear that. However, one thing I haven't been able to resolve over the years is my liver detox capabilities. I have trouble detoxing food chemicals like salicylates. And even though taking the activated Daily activated multivitamin helps. I'm still unable to eat high salicylate foods. 
I can't even get through the Ecolife Detox when I try to titrate. My salicylate bucket really fills fast and I get super inflamed all over again. How can I support my liver to better detox? Should I minimize fats like ghee and red meat? How? What can I do to finally heal? It's, it's a great question. Okay, so I have a podcast on high salicylate foods. I have a podcast on high histamine foods. I have a podcast on high lectin-based foods. I have a podcast on high oxalate-based foods. Why am I talking like this? Here's why. In the beginning, if you're sensitive to histamines or lectins or oxalates or salicylates, we know that in the beginning, it's best to eat a lower amount of those foods so you don't what? Fill up your rain barrel. But we also know that these things all have an underlying root cause. Sometimes it is nutrient deficiencies and sometimes it is overall toxicity. And oftentimes combined with those, there's gut-based issues, intestinal permeability, leaky gut, et cetera. It looks like you are now healing yours. So don't be surprised because you wrote in two months ago. Don't be surprised if you're becoming less and less sensitive to salicylates. It takes weeks and months, right? It took me years to fully overcome my high histamine issues, but you'll get there as the immune system becomes more balanced. It doesn't happen overnight but it can happen and will happen. So the first thing we do is we, we, again, lower our salicylate intake. We eat foods that are low in salicylates. But then what we want to do, there's a product called Daily Detox Support. And you may get great benefit from taking that on a daily basis, along with something like a psyllium husk and a calming magnesium in order to continue to move the bowels and any toxic absorption through the bowels as quickly as possible. The alkalizing vitamin C is very powerful for that as well. That's where I would start and continue to work the process you're on right now. Maybe also test to see if you have heavy metals. And if so, begin to lower those heavy level, heavy metal levels as well, which are inflammatory and can then exacerbate any of these sensitivities. Thank you, Nana, for writing in. All right, Bettina is up next. Hi, Dr. Wall. Thank you for the great podcasts and products. My husband is from Italy, and when we go there to visit family, we are typically there for a minimum of seven days. This means my mother-in-law's amazing pasta dish dishes for lunch and dinner. What should I do in order to keep the weight off? I bring my Nutribullet so that I can make a smoothie with the DNS in it, but my mother-in-law is amazing in the kitchen and is not well seen to... And it is not well seen today not to her food or even to eat very little food as there is often more dishes and they're amazing. Okay, I see what you're saying. Just a little voice text, I think. Basically, you don't want to offend your mother-in-law by not eating her cooking. I get it. Uh, I bring the digestive support, but what else should I do? Even if I eat smaller portions of pasta and the eggplant lasagna, etc., I'm quite sure I will gain weight as this happened each year so far. Thank you for your... Uh, Thank you for your advice in advance. All right, Bettina, here's the simple part to it. Over seven days, what you do in seven days is not going to dictate the other 51 weeks of the year. So here's the thing. You could do this. You could do a detox, seven-day detox right when you get home, and you'll just take the weight off. Like That's the easiest answer because sometimes, let's say you go to Italy, you're eating authentic foods, you're enjoying yourself. You know, I don't think that you always need to be worried about all the foods that you're eating. If, again, your digestive system is in good track and you're feeling good, right? Of course, I would take the gluten dairy you know, support. Of course, I would take digestive enzymes. I would do that. I would try to get an intermittent fast in of 14 hours to maybe 16 hours every single day You know, while you're there. Like, yeah, these are things that I would do. Try to go on long walks. Try to walk with the family after the meal. Those are all things I would absolutely do. But there's also a time and place to say, you know what? I'm going to enjoy myself. Now, I don't know if that's where you're at right now, but I know for sure if you gain five pounds when you're over there. I know when you come back and do a seven or 14 or 21 day detox, you'll take all the weight off. So if it's really just about that one week, I don't want to tell you to fill your body with foods that aren't healthy for you or anything like that. But if you want to enjoy yourself, I mean, really like enjoy yourself. If not, okay, then we can go to a little bit higher level. Like you said, you can do a daily nutritional shake in the morning. It can just be with water if you want. Continue then your fast until lunch and do then lunch and dinner with what your mother-in-law is making. And again, try to do as small a portion as possible. Take your gluten and dairy support. Maybe even take the ultra bi universal binder, you know, if you need to. Uh, what else could you do? 
do, uh, especially if you're drinking any alcohol. Uh, you could use fatlosity system while you're over there, uh, which is going to help speed up the metabolism, right? So those are all things that you could do, but sometimes it's just, it's part of life and you'll do your detox when you get home. So that's up to you. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. Can we get one more question? We can. Let's get a question in from Nicole. Nicole says, have any natural recommendations for broken capillaries on the face? I feel like I've tried it all except laser at this point. Thank you. Okay. So Nicole, you know, I'm an underlying root cause kind of guy. What I look for is why the broken capillaries in the face. So I would actually look at oxidative stress. Um, I would look at it from, uh, well, believe it or not, some people get broken capillaries in the face from like um, vigorous exfoliating of the skin. That's one. Another one could be like really high levels of heat. So like getting, excuse me, really hot. Some people it happens in the sauna, sometimes not. And, and usually it doesn't over the long term because you're reducing inflammation. And sometimes it's it's dietary. So eating inflammatory based foods. Uh not broken capillaries, but like a rosation can sometimes be higher levels of yeast and candida in the body. So the other part is this. I've seen what I've seen work really well are things like the immunity protocol. And I know this can sound strange, which is zinc and copper, vitamin D3, and alkalizing vitamin C. But all of these things are very powerful antioxidants. And they help to protect the, the endothelial um, cells and, and the actual capillaries that are under the skin from breaking in the first place. So sometimes the best thing to do isn't necessarily the cosmetic laser because it can continue to come back. So I'm not necessarily against laser. I'm still reading up on it. I don't think that I'm uh, an expert by any way, shape, or form. I know I'm not an expert in any way, shape, or form about cosmetic laser and those types of things. I'm uh, learning a lot more, studying a lot more, uh, and, and I'll talk about it much more in the future when, I've, when I'm more educated on the topic. But what I would say is this, always look at the underlying root cause, because although the laser can literally zap and kill those uh, capillaries, maybe we want to keep some of those, right? And what we want to look at then is saying, what's causing this in the first place? It is inflammation. Okay, what's the inflammation coming from? And I think that that can be very beneficial. Now, application to the face. Um, some people use certain essential oils. Some people just can add a little bit of um, coconut oil, although I think it's a very, a, coconut oil is a very thick oil and it can cause some people acne. Now, what I've seen better is like vitamin C-based creams um, can be nice and, and can be helpful as well, as well as the internal vitamin C vitamin D and, um, and the zinc copper as well. Uh, more antioxidants in the diet, big advocate, big fan of that. And that's where I'd recommend at least to start. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you everybody for writing in. Thank you everybody for listening, downloading the show and subscribing on YouTube. If you are watching this on video, I thank you. I appreciate you. I'll be back tomorrow on our mindset and motivation Monday. Don't miss it. Thanks so much for tuning into the show today. I want to make sure that before you head off, you know that right now over at Ecolife, you can take 20% off already the lowest possible prices in the world for at-home lab testing. All single labs, not only were they everyday low prices, take an additional 20% off. The amazing thing is all of these labs are private. The data is not shared with anyone. They come directly for you or a family member. You ship them to the lab. Then what happens is we get the private results, we share them with you, and we also share with you not just the results, but actually a plan to help to rebalance your body if that is what is required. And if you ever have any questions, you're going to be able to speak with your integrative health practitioner or one of our Equalife health coaches. So it's a full encompassing program and protocol. And I'm telling you right now, if you've been struggling with any type of wellness-based issue, weight-based issue, or anti-aging, this is the way to fix it out through at-home lab testing like the minerals and metals test, the candida metabolic and vitamins test, the inflammation test, the stress mood and metabolism test for hormones, vitamin D, and so much more. There's literally over 30 labs for you to choose from. Head on over to stephencabral.com slash shop for all the details and take 20% off already low prices while supplies last. Again, stephencabral.com slash shop for all the details.